So maybe you just got home with your copy of Madden NFL 10, or maybe you're wondering if, after years of buying the game religiously, if this year's game is worth it. Here we'll be focusing on five of the most important additions and changes in Madden NFL 10 to help you fence sitters decide whether or not you want to invite this guy into your home one more time. First up is online franchise. Unlike last year's completely wonktastic online leagues which wouldn't let you do the basics like fill out your leagues with CPU players or track stats or well, you get the idea. The online franchise in Madden 10 is more akin to what we all want. The chance for you and 31 of your friends to accuse one another of cheesing in Madden games in an organized setting as opposed to merely pickup games. Online franchise isn't perfect this year. There's no team salary cap so there's nothing stopping you from signing any free agent out there. Hello Plaxico, welcome to the team, please don't shoot yourself in the leg. But cool additions like an iPhone app and a website to manage your online franchise offset those kind of problems. One of the biggest changes to gameplay in Madden 10 is gang tackles, or as the development team refers to it, ProTac. Now ProTac might sound something like a medical condition requiring an injection in a sensitive area, but ProTac is actually a pretty important change for the game. Not only does it make the running game more exciting, by better allowing you to open up holes on offense they give it to the tailback. They tackle it. and get the big stops on defense when you need them, it's the tailback. Ellis it also means you'll be able to sit in an actual honest-to-God pocket when looking for an open receiver. Just got that one off. Now player fatigue will be a bigger factor than ever in Madden NFL 10. The idea here is to force Madden players to make more use of substitutions and timeouts in order to give the players on the field a breather. On defense, it means that playing your fatties from the defensive line like they were free safeties will turn them into wheezing piles of blubber after just a couple of plays. Let's face it, playing defensive back in Madden isn't for the faint of heart. It takes a special type of player to feel comfortable prowling the backfield, picking off errant passes while still dealing with the ever-present threat of getting burned by Devin Hester deep. If you're one of these people, here's a golf clap. You're fantastic. Yeah! Oh, yeah! We'll go for six. Reeves. For the rest of us, the new defensive assist feature will help you automatically stay in the action with just a press of the button. If only Patrick Sertan had this option. Finally, online cooperative play will let you and a buddy join forces to take on any team in the league. Now, when I say join forces, I, I kind of mean the Jerry Jones, Wade Phillips way of joining forces. As in only one person gets to call plays, only one person can play as quarterback, and only one person can have fun. Okay, just kidding about the last part. Actually, cooperative play can be a hoot, as long as both players are communicating and working together. Otherwise, well, have you heard of the Oakland Raiders?